Hi there. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to walk through how to use the Google My Business posting add-on for Google Sheets. To get started, head over to the Add-ons tab. Go to the Agency Automators Google My Business Posts and click Run Initial Setup. The tool will take about 10 seconds to set up as it builds all the appropriate tabs in the background. When it's done, it'll take you over to the Config tab. Cool, configuring the tool is pretty easy. We get started on the Config tab. The first step is to go into cell A3 and pick the appropriate account that we want to edit with. This is the email address up here in your top right corner has to be associated with Google My Business locations. When you grab this, you're gonna select the account ID and then you're gonna go add-ons and get locations. What that's gonna do is pull in all the, the Google My Business locations that are associated with the account in cell A3. You'll notice there's some directions here about turning on auto posting. That's a feature that we're gonna go over later in the tutorial. But for now, we're gonna switch from the our config tab over to the Google My Business Post tab. To get started in the Google My Business Post tab, let's go over the different columns just so you understand how it all works together. There are some columns that you need to fill out for all of the different types of posts that you can create with the tool. And then other columns you have to fill out based on the specific type of post. To get a sense of what fields you need to fill out for the different types of posts, you can change the value in the C column for each row. And what you'll see is that different fields will get blacked out. You'll notice in column R that that's not blacked out. This column is just to give you a status message for each row that you upload to Google to let you know if that post successfully posted. You'll notice for the call to action type, you have to fill out the first, all of these columns that are white, the event type changes which fields we have to fill out, as does the offer, as does the alert post type which is a much simpler post type you have. But notice that you do have to fill out this column if you're gonna do the alert type. It's kind of hidden behind the conditional formatted columns. Okay, so let's build a post and upload it to, to Google My Business. It's pretty easy. You'll notice that for each of these different columns, if there is specific formatting that needs to be used, you'll notice that uh, there's some helper text that'll help you along the way. So for the first thing, we need to pick a publish date that's either on or after today. We then go into the location column and we find the appropriate location that we want to post to. We then have to give it a summary, which is the main body of the, of the post with a maximum character length of 1,500 characters. This is a test post to test our killer add-on. Okay. You can then uh, add either a photo or a video. We strongly recommend that you use the photo because we found that when you do, uh, you're gonna have much higher click-through rates than if you just use text. You then need to add a button or a call to action. Depending on the different type of action you want people to take, um, it'll determine which one of these you choose. You then need to let the user, you have to um, add a URL where the user is gonna go when they click that call to action. And then the last thing you can do is go and upload the post like this. You go add-ons, agency automators, Google My Business posts, upload posts. And if we look over in the R column, we should see it say uploaded in just a second. 
that's our successful status message that the post has now been pushed live up to Google My Business. What about the other post types? Well, let's do an event. And to do that, um, we're going to enter our title first for the event. And we do have a 58 character maximum there. So really stick to four or five words. This is the event and then you have to pick a date that it starts double click and a time this formatting is important um, you have to use hour hour colon minute minute formatting uh, for nine hours or less you're going to use just single digits so this would be a good one this would be a bad one and if you make a mistake with the formatting the tool is going to let you know, and it'll give you guidance on, on how to fix your formatting. So let's do it correctly. We'll go 8.30 in the morning, and then we need to pick the end date. And then we, oops. Um, we're going to pick the appropriate date, and we're going to pick the end time, which we'll say is 9.30. And then um, just for testing, I got to remove this uploaded. And the reason is that the tool is looping through all the posts on the sheet and it's going to push any row that doesn't have the status code of uploaded here in that column. Okay, so we're going to go add-ons and we're going to push it live. And then we're going to look for our status message to make sure that it worked and it did. And that's the event type. Okay, so now that we've looked at a bunch of different post types, now we're going to look at the offer because it has some additional functionality over the event. It includes all of the event fields and it also includes some extra fields too, which are the coupon code, the redemption URL, which is where the user has to go in order to take advantage of the coupon code, and then the terms and conditions that apply for that event type, excuse me, that offer. So we go up into our add-on menu, we click at upload posts, we should see a status message, which rocks, hooey, it worked. Okay, cool. The next piece of functionality that's really neat with this tool is, dun dun dun, automatic post scheduling. This is how it works. You go over to the config tab, you go into cell A5, and you pick an hour range that you want the tool to run every day. What this means is that between 11 a.m. and 12 a.m., the tool is going to run through all of the posts, and it's going to find any of the posts that match today's date. And then it's going to push those live. And then on the next day, which is 427, it would check this sheet at between 11 and 12 a.m. and any post that match 427 would get pushed live, etc. every day. So this enables you to schedule your posts out into the future as far as you want and the, and the tool will automatically go and check each day, and push those posts live. Another piece of functionality, which is quite handy, also dangerous, based on what I just showed you, is the ability to clear posts. And what this is going to do is it's going to delete all of the values starting in row three, going down all the way to the end of the sheet. And the value of that is if you are switching between one account and another, and you want to get rid of all the data quickly, this is the way that you do it. You just go agency automators, GMB posts, clear posts, and it will throw up a little pop-up message that's just making sure that you want to do it because with great power comes great responsibility. Boom, you've gotten rid of all the data. Uh, let's see, what else? You can also turn off your daily posting. Oh, sorry, I didn't give you the full. Yeah, so you, you pick the hour window that you want it to, to run and then you set, turn it on by going agency, uh, 
One of the killer features of this add-on is the ability to automatically post and schedule posts out into the future. The way that you take advantage of this functionality is by going to the config tab and then in cell 5 you have to pick the time of day that you want it to post. You then go up to the add-ons menu, agency automators, Google My Business posts, and you turn on daily posting. And what that's going to do is turn on a trigger so that every day between 1 and 2 p.m., the tool is going to go to this sheet and any, day, any of the rows that have not been uploaded yet, where the date matches today's date, so on the 26th, this row would get posted. And then on the next date, on the next day, when the tool comes back to the sheet, this would get posted. And then the day after that, this would get posted. So this gives you the ability to schedule posts well out into the future. So you can always have messaging around events, offers, or just informational posts well out into the future. So you can have a consistent messaging over time. If you decide you want to turn this feature off, it's really easy. You just go over into our menu, come down here, and turn off daily posting. Boom. The last piece of functionality that I want to go over with you is the user manual. To get there, you go add-ons, agency automators, Google My Business posts. Come on down here to the read the user manual. It'll open in a big pop-up and you can read all of the details about how to use the tool here. And it should be a great resource for you. If you've got questions, definitely go here first. And that's it. We hope you use this often. We hope it helps you manage your business and your clients' businesses. And we hope it saves you a ton of time. Thanks.